boys today we got i think this is a new a new video i don't think any other channel has made a video like this before if they have i don't care i'm still gonna say that i'm the first one to do it but today we're gonna be doing the best striker versus striker and the best grappler versus grappler fight in each division now what i mean by the best i'm not necessarily talking about you know like going stat for stat who has the best takedown defense who has the best takedowns the best control time i'm not really talking about that i'm talking about like if i had to pick you know one grappler to fight one grappler and one striker to fight one striker which fight would be the most interesting that's what i mean by the best i'm not necessarily talking about some nerdy ass stuff about this is the best guy because blah 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 and i bring up a bunch of stats and no no no, no. we ain't talking about that we're just going if i had to pick purely off entertainment wise which ones would i I pick this is it starting with flyweight ending off with heavyweight i tried my best not to have any rematches on here whatsoever i believe i have maybe two rematches out of these 16 fights so not bad not bad i'm happy with that starting off with flyweight the two guys i have here in my opinion this is a pretty obvious one at least for the first guy tatsura tyra i feel like this is an obvious one definitely one of the best grapplers one of the better submission threats that we have at lightweight honestly might be the best ground game guy that we have here at flyway taking on tagir ulan bekov also forgot to mention this at the start we're only doing top 15 for every single one of these guys we're not gonna have you know number 50th rank taking on number 10 no it's all gonna be top 15 so it's a pretty well known known guys on this list also i usually do this shit at the very end of the video but you guys leave me no choice but look at this shit 99 percent of you guys don't subscribe so help your boy out subscribe i usually do this at the end but i'm gonna do a little experiment seeing if this helps me out at all but regardless go into the strikers now this is where i think it's gonna be the more fun out of the two we have kai kara france we just saw in his latest fight put out the boy steve earth r.i.p steve ersic it is what it is and yeah kai kara france mainly here because out of all these flyweights definitely has the most power out of all these guys i think right now he has a record of the most first round KOs in the flyweight division then this one is a little bit harder but out of all the guys I had to put Manel Cap to fight him mainly because you know Manel Cap he also has some heavy hands I also think he's a little bit big for this flyweight division and yeah out of everyone in flyweight you could have put someone like a Brandon Moreno there but like I said I'm trying to do fresh matchups no rematches and I think this would be a super fun matchup do I think this shit ever happens? Probably not. And as of right now, it seems like Manel Cap is on a decision merchant career pathway. So it is what it is. Let's go down to the bantamweight division. This one, fairly obvious. You know, I've been talking about this one ever since Saturday. Bantamweight division, the two grapplers I'm going to have here, obviously, Marab Devalishvili and Umar Namagomedov. Is there really that much that needs to be said about this one? This one, to be honest, let me quickly run through who else I have here. I think this one, this one is probably when this happens. So I do think this is the next matchup for both these guys. I do think out of all the matchups I have here, this is the one I'd be most excited for. Just because, you know, the two best grapplers going at it for the championship. I just think this would be an amazing fight. Do I think it'll be the most entertaining at points? No, I don't think it'd be the best fight you could ever make. No, no, no. But, you know, two of the best styles clashing. I think this would be one of the better fights. Let's go down to the strikers. I've been saying this for a while as well. Sean O'Malley, obviously. I think Sean O'Malley right now is probably the best striker we have at Bantamweight. Even though, you know, on Saturday he looked a little gun shy. It is what it is. And, you know, you could put him here against numerous other guys. You could put him here against someone like a, a Peter Yan that a lot of people want to see that rematch. Yes, that would be fun. But I'm trying to do no rematches. So a new fun matchup would be Corey Sandhagen. And again, I think this is the next matchup for both these guys probably two of the faster the longer the more dynamic guys that we have in this division going at it i think this would be one of the you know one of the fight of the nights one of the better fights that we could have in the year whenever this one gets made yeah let's go down to the featherweight division this one i'm so pissed they never made this one because i don't think this fight's ever gonna happen we have right now aljamain sterling i think aljamain sterling is one of the better grapplers that we have at featherweight if not the best one He's close to being the best one. I don't know if he's the best, but he's one of the better guys that we have at featherweight. And you know, I wanted his first fight at featherweight to be against this guy. I wanted his next fight to be against this guy. I still want one of his fights to be against this guy, but I don't think this is ever going to happen. The guy I'm talking about is Brian Ortega. I think Brian Ortega is going to move up to lightweight after 
after losing to Diego Lopez. It is what it is. I think that would be a super, super fun matchup, though. Again, same thing like a Marab versus an Umar type of matchup. You know, I think that's where this fight would shine. Two of the best guys in a single category going at it. Both of them don't really, you know, have hands like this. I think Brian Ortega, you know, the striking is miles better than Al Jermaine. I don't think either of them really have, you know, the power to put each other out. I think it's majority going to be like a ground, a fighting for top position type of fight. And I think that'd be a really fun stylistic match. Let's go down to the striker versus striker. This one might be a cop out because we literally have this one in a few months time. Max Holloway, Ilya Taporia. There's a reason why so many people are hyped for this fight. Because it's just going to be, in my opinion, it's going to be a striking versus striking fight the entire time. It's going to be like Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje, in my opinion. I don't think anyone's going to be shooting. Although, in my opinion, Ilya Tapoya can put down and keep on the ground Max Holloway if he really wanted to. Ilya Tapoya, it's, it's kind of bad having him on this list because he's not, you know, like some of these guys that are majority a striker. He's literally a complete full mixed martial artist. He has a ground game. He has a striking butt. I think it's going to be majority a striking fight. And yeah, probably if I had to quickly look at all of these striker versus strikers, this one might be one of... I don't know. There's a lot of bangers here for strikers for versus strikers that I have here, but this is one of the better ones. Honestly, to be honest, all the striker versus striker fights are, are amazing. I'm not going to lie. Let's go down to the lightweight division. This one, obviously, I had to put this one here. It's going to be a rematch. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's most likely going to be the next fight for both these guys. Isla Makachev versus Armin Sarukin. And, you know, it's hard for me to actually put these guys here, especially Islam, because we've seen... Out of his few fights that he's had as champion, this boy has hands. He's not just a grappler. He can easily become a striker and become one of the better strikers in the lightweight division. He was literally piecing up Dustin Poirier in the striking. He was outboxing Dustin Poirier in certain parts of their fights, which is crazy. But yeah, it's it's hard to put Islam here just because of how you know well-rounded he is. But if I had to pick a fight that would be the best to put at lightweight for a grappler versus a grappler to promote it that way, it would be these two. Let's go down to the strikers. This one very it's very possible we get this one i'm not gonna lie do i think it happens i don't think so to be honest but this would be a war this would be a like fight of the year contender in my opinion i'm talking about a rejuvenated new mythical tatted up fighter dan hooker taking on justin gaethje this is literally justin gaethje dustin poirier type of vibes i'm getting from this fight and you're telling me this would not be a banger. It would not be a fight of the night. Both these guys taking years off each other's life. You're telling me this doesn't become one of the best lightweight fights that we have. I was tempted just to put Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje for the third time. I was so tempted to do that, but... I'm trying so hard not to do any rematches. This one would be a banger. This one, I think, would be... This would be one of the better fights you can put at light heavyweight right now. Let's go down to welterweight. Grappler versus grappler. I was trying to find, you know, some good guys to put here. I think there's only real one. It's hard to even put this one here because when I'm talking about the best, I'm talking about what I'm most excited for. And there's been points in each of these guys' career that they were both just hated by the fans. And to be honest, this might be the second worst grappler versus grappler on this entire list. And I'm talking about Blah Muhammad taking on Kamara Usman. Both of these guys, CEOs of EPOs, both of these guys 100% on something. I'll die on this hill that Bilal Muhammad is on something. But yeah, again, majority of these guys grapplers. They have pretty sloppy striking, but majority of it is grappling. This would be the best grappling versus grappling fight you can have at welterweight that isn't a rematch. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, I kind of struggled for this one. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would change any of these guys. Let's go down to the striker versus striker. You could easily have, you know... You could easily have MVP versus Wonder Boy. You could easily do that one, but I wasn't going to take the easy option. This one, I think, would be just as fun, if not even better. I'm not going to lie. I'm talking about Jack Della Maddalena, probably the best pure boxer that we have in this welterweight division, the best striker we have in this welterweight division, taking on, you know, a newly up-and-coming guy, someone who just got into the ranking, Michael Morales. Now, do I think Michael Morales could actually get this done? I could see it happening. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this would be such a fun matchup just to watch for the striking alone. There would be zero takedowns from either of these guys because both of these guys don't have any takedowns in their arsenal. In my opinion, one of the best striker versus striker fights that we can have right now at welterweight. Will this fight ever happen? Probably not. You know, it could happen if... Michael Morales keeps winning and gets higher up the rankings, but right now they're just too far apart in the rankings. Because right now, Michael Morales just entered the top 15. JDM is literally maybe a fight away from getting a championship fight. Let's go down to the middleweight division. 
The Grappler versus Grappler, in my opinion, this one's very obvious. We have Chimaev. There's no one else you'd have here in middleweight. It, there's no way you can have Grappler versus Grappler if you don't have Chimaev as one of those Grapplers in this middleweight division. Second guy, this would be a banger too. Anthony Fluffy Hernandez. He's fighting Michael Pereira pretty soon here, but this would be a crazy fight. I still think I, I think Chimaev would be still too strong for Hernandez, but I think this would be a fun matchup while it lasts. And then let's go down to striker versus striker. You know, we have Anthony Hernandez here. He's supposed to fight Michael Pereira, but... Michael Pereira is on this list as well. He's one of the strikers we have here. You can't have a striker versus striker list without Michael Pereira. He's one of the more fun guys in middleweight striking wise. And again, doesn't really have the takedowns. Doesn't really have the grappling. Yes, I believe he does. He's coming off a submission win not too long ago, but this boy's majority a striker. Let's match him up with Berhalio. I think this would be a stupid fun matchup. Someone is 100% going to sleep in this one. We have the crazy dynamic striking of Pereira versus the very technical, you know, waiting to counter striking of Rahalio. 100% someone's getting put to sleep here. Let's go down to the light heavyweight. This one's also a rematch. Magomed and Kalaya versus Nakia Krylov. You, I think these are literally the only two grapplers in the light heavyweight division, so... That's why we have these two here. I'm more excited to talk about the strikers because this one would be... This is probably the best striking match you could have in this whole... In this whole list, I'm not going to lie, this one would be so fun. First off, Johnny Walker taking on Yuri Prohoshka. Literally, it's autism versus slight autism, but majority schizophrenia. This would be such a fun matchup. You have the autistic striking of Johnny Walker taking on you. The slightly autistic Yuri Prohoshka with a shit ton of schizophrenia attached to it. You can't tell me this wouldn't be a banger of a fight. And yeah, will this fight ever happen? I don't think so. I, I can c pretty confidently say it will never happen. Mainly because I believe Johnny Walker's moving up to heavyweight. There's been talks of Yuri going down to middleweight, so I don't think it's happening. Let's go down to the heavyweight division. Of course, for heavyweight, you have to have someone like a John Jones here. Even though it pains me just to talk about him, but John Jones... He has to go on this list. Then the other guy. And then again, this guy. You have to put this guy on the list too. Curtis Blades. There's been conversations where people think Curtis Blades is the guy to beat John Jones. Do I think that's true? No, I still think John Jones beats someone like a Curtis Blades. Although, very, very competitive fight. But let's go down to the striker versus striker fight. This one, I I don't think there's another guy you can put here other than Tom Aspinall and Cyril Gone. Those are the two best strikers, in my opinion, in the heavyweight division. And when this fight does get announced, because I do believe it will eventually happen, I do think this would be one of the one of the better heavyweight fights that we've had in a hot minute. Because to be honest, let's let's be realistic. Heavyweight's been pretty ass as of recently. But yeah, those are every single guys I have on this list. You guys have to let me know in the comments below. Would you switch any of these guys out for someone else? Because in my opinion, these are, I would say 99% of these are just bangers. Just how 99% of you guys don't subscribe to this channel. Just help your boy out. If you made it to this far into the video, you might as well just subscribe with those post notifications turned on so you never miss any of these rare videos. I got another, I'm pretty sure I have another, you know, new video that no one else has made coming out tomorrow that i'm pretty excited for that I can make into a whole series pretty excited for that you know your boy was laying in bed and boom came into my mind just like that pause that was crazy but at the end of the day at the end of the day you made it to the end of the video you might as well subscribe help your boy out get to a thousand subscribers and yeah guys with all that being said there's really not that much else left to say except for i will see you guys in my next video